Oscars are behind us. It's time to get excited for all the highly anticipated new movies that are coming out. This year, Movie Phone editor Kevin Paloi is here with the most anticipated films of 09. Good to have you back again. Good to be here. You always have really good information, good insight. <laughs> tell me what to go see and what not to go see. That's right. Um, Kevin, if you had to tell us about the movies uh, for this summer compared to the, you know, movies from last summer, better, worse, same? I think it's comparable. You know, lots of remakes, prequels, sequels, TV shows turned movies. Lot, lots to look forward to, just like last a year, A lot I of think. sequels, too? A lot of big movies, yeah. A lot of okay. sequels. Lots okay. Of... All right, let's talk about the first genre here, which is the family movies. Another another uh, familiar name coming out this summer, right? Yes, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. This is the sixth installment in the, in the Potter series. This is probably the most anticipated Potter movie yet because it was delayed from last year, oh, from, is... from fall to uh, this summer. Okay. And the, the Potter heads are really excited. These movies get better <laughs> with each installment. Right. And the kids have just grown so well into the leads. Well, adults now, but yeah, a lot to look forward to. And this, this one's one. coming out July 17th, yep. okay, for the summer. You need Osari. And comedy. A lot of really big names in this one. Yeah, Funny People. This is Judd Apto's third movie after uh, Knocked Up and 40-Year-Old Virgin. The stars Adam Sandler is a stand-up comedian who finds out he's dying. Sound, it doesn't sound too hilarious, right? But <laughs> right. we actually just debuted the trial on Movie Phone, and it, he doesn't die. They want you to know that. They actually, it plays out in the trial. Uh, it looks really hilarious. Seth Rogen also stars. Eric Bana, who uh, actually started in Australia as a comedian, so he, he flexes his comic chops here. Great. It's called Funny People, releasing uh, being released July 31st as well too. Okay, now action. Terminator's back? Yes, yeah. Terminator Salvation. This is the fourth Terminator movie. This one stars Christian Bale. It's a prequel and sequel sort of at the same time because it takes place in the future, of course. The, the older ones took place in the past. I knew it was coming. But this is not the future my mother warned me about. And in this future, I don't know if we can win this war. <laughs> but uh, this is Christian Bale. It looks very intense. Hopefully it's half as intense as Christian Bale. Right. We're in for a treat. Uh, but the action looks gritty. There could be a cameo from the Governor, so we're, we're excited ah, about that. But and it looks great. coming out May 21st, yep. right? Okay, so the chick flicks. Gotta have a chick flick every single yes. year. The proposal's coming out? Yeah, no well, no sex in the city this summer, but there are some high-profile chick flicks, including this romantic comedy that stars uh, Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds. She plays a uh, pushy executive mm -hmm. who is going to be deported, so she forces her assistant to marry him. I'm not gonna marry you. <laughs> if you don't, you'll be on the street all alone looking for a job. Have the two of you told your parents about your secret love? We're going to their place this weekend. Oh, where's that? Alaska. Alaska. <laughs> These two are both very hilarious, so we're, we're expecting yeah, a lot Yeah, she's really one. good. I really like seeing her, too, as well. And then the last category, these are the movies that I can never go see because I have nightmares forever, but the thrillers, the demons. Yes, you Angels know? and Demons. Angels and Demons. This is the prequel to The Da Vinci Code. Uh, Tom Hanks returns, minus the mullet this time, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, but, you know, this this time he's uh, he's looking for a ticking time bomb from the Illuminati. It should be very suspenseful. It's Illuminati. The last one made a ton of money. Some people were disappointed. I think this one's going to be a lot better. Ron Howard and Tom Hanks, you can't expect them to make the same mistakes twice. So really? this one will be better. That was a very good observation. I like that one. <laughs> I like you. that one. Thanks so much. It's good to see you back here again. Good and that was here. just a partial list of what you have, too. There's a lot more where that came from. We're going to have a link to all the anticipated movies of 09 by category on our website, better.tv. So now it's your turn. We want to hear from you guys. What's your all-time favorite movie? Let us know by emailing us at yourturn at better.tv and don't forget to include your name and where you live.